Hey friends what's going on? My name is Nidish Kumar and today we are going to create this in After Effects. All the assets used in the project file is given in the description you can check them out for free. Please hit the like button if you like the teaser and also subscribe to our channel, it really motivates me to make more. Feel free to comment any suggestions. Let's start by creating a new composition. Naming it Flare and Particles. Setting the comp size to 1920 by 1080 and duration to 10 seconds. Now create a new text layer and type the title you want. Adjust the size and color of text. You can also use any logo if you want instead of text layer, steps are same. Now, bring the texture image in the timeline. Set the track mat to luma mat. Select both the layers, right click and click on pre-compose. Now, rename it and click on Move All Attributes and hit OK. Now, bring the text mask footage in the timeline and change the track mat to alpha mat. And this is what we have got till now. Now, select the text layer, click on Edit, and select Duplicate. Turn on visibility of the layer. Select the pen tool and create and rough mask around the text. Select the layer and hit double M on the keyboard to bring the mask properties. Set keyframe for mask path. And animate the mask like Let's increase the feather little bit to give some smooth touch. Now drag the flare set one in the timeline two times to add some glow in it. Also, change the blending mode to screen to make it visible below the layers. And this is what we have got till now. Bring the particle set 1 in the comp. Change the blending mode to screen. Now, bring the smoke one footage in the comp and set the blending mode to screen. Go to the frame where text starts appearing. Hit T on the keyboard to open opacity properties. Now set the keyframes and animate the opacity from 0 to 100%. Like Maybe let's bring the opacity to around 35%. 
bring the flares set 3 in the comp and change the blending mode to screen. Now let's create a new text layer. Adjust the size and color of text according to your liking and change the blending mode to screen. Looks good. Adjust the position of your text. Now bring the text mask footage in the timeline. Hit S on the keyboard to bring the scale properties. And now let's scale it down to match it with the text layer. Change the blending mode to screen and adjust it over the text. Change the text layer track mat to Luma mat. Bring text mask footage a little forward in time. Looks good. Now bring the particle set to in the timeline and change the blending mode to screen. Place it over the text. Now select the text layer and duplicate it. Adjust the length of the layer to match it with the footage. Now let's create a new composition. Naming it Wiggle and setting the size by 1920 by 1080. Bring the flares and particles comp in the timeline. Go to the frame where text starts and split it. Now go to the frame where particles covers the text and again split the layer. Now select this layer and hit P on the keyboard to bring the position properties. Hold Alt key on keyboard and click the stopwatch icon. This will bring up the expression editor. Now type the expression, wiggle, brackets, 20 comma 5. Now we have this screen shake effect. Do the same thing with this layer also, but with low value.
Maybe let's rename the comp name to main animation. Now create a new composition. I am naming it final. Now bring the main animation comp in the timeline. Create a mask around the animation. Depending upon your animation, you can adjust the path of the mask. Now, duplicate this layer. Right-click on the layer. Go to Transform and click on Flip Vertical option. Place the duplicated layer just below the upper layer. Let's rename the duplicated layer to Ground. Duplicate the ground layer and place it below all the layers. Go to Effects and Presets panel and search for Fast Box Blur Effects. Apply it onto the ground layer. Set Blur Direction to Vertical and increase the Blur Radius. Now bring the A texture image in the timeline. Make it a 3D layer. Open the Transform properties and then change the X rotation to 97. Now go to Effects and Presence panel and search for Motion Tile Effect. Apply on the texture layer. Increase the output height and output width depending upon your text and scenario. Now go to Effects and Presets panel. Search for Brightness and Contrast effect and apply it. Set the Brightness as minus 100 and Contrast as 100. Right click on the layer and choose Precompose. Click on Move All Attributes. Place it below the main animation layer. Create a new adjustment layer and search for compound blur effect. Apply it on the layer. Change the blur layer to a texture. Make sure you place the texture layer above the adjustment layer. Hide the texture layer. And that's it. Our reflection is ready. Looks good. See you guys in the next tutorial.